case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the landmark 1985 Supreme Court case Blanton v. Woman Care Inc., the validity of arbitration agreements entered into without a client's consent was put to the test. The case centered around Harriet Blanton, who alleged that an arbitration agreement concerning a malpractice claim over an abortion was signed without her consent by her attorney. She argued the deal was unfair and compromised her rights as it included stipulations restricting her potential compensation and enabling the defendant's attorney to choose the arbitrator. Without Blanton's knowledge, the trial court approved the agreement, leading to an arbitration deposition in the defendant's favor. Three months later, Blanton only became aware of this when the final decision was made. She contended fiercely against the validity of the arbitration agreement, but her appeal for a new trial, a trial de novo, fell on deaf ears as the trial court upheld the arbitration's binding nature. Blanton took her challenge to the Supreme Court of California, making a case that the lack of her explicit consent was a breach of attorney-client responsibilities. Citing the independence of the Judicial Arbitration Act and the arbitration statute, the court agreed with Blanton, ruling that her attorney did not possess the actual authority to bind her to the arbitration agreement. The court found that it was not merely a part of the ongoing lawsuit's tactics, but a standalone contractual commitment for arbitration. In a climactic turn of events, the Supreme Court overturned the previous judgments. They identified the trial court's failure to acknowledge the legitimacy of Blanton's appeal for a trial de novo as a legal misstep and emphasized the policy preferring parties to arbitrate first and litigate later. Highlighting Blanton's experience, the court cautioned parties about the appeal mechanism to judicially challenge an order to arbitrate via a petition for a writ of mandate. They further clarified that the failure to pursue this remedy does not completely close the door to future judicial scrutiny. This critical case underscored the principle that lawyers cannot act unilaterally in entering into significant agreements like arbitration without their client's explicit approval or knowledge. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.